would you consider yourself a tidy person? What time do you normally uh, wake up and go to bed? Yeah, no, I'm I'm a tidy person. Um, wake up, you know, go to bed. If I'm late, I'll put headphones on. Right. Do you have a sister? Yeah. Okay. Can I fuck her? She's 14. Thank you. Well, I mean... Did, did I stutter? Get the fuck out. This guy. So how do you know Alex? Well, he's friends with my friend Erica, so when you told him that he needed a flatmate, uh, he told her and she told me. Fair enough. And, and where were you living before this? Oh, I was living with my girlfriend, but um, we split up. I'm sorry to hear that. I think there's any chance for, you know, reconciliation? Oh, I don't. She gave... Sorry, can I use your bathroom? No. Oh, shit. Including bills, the rent is $200 per week. Uh, do, you have, do you have a full-time job? Or... Nah, bro. I'm on the doll, eh? Don't need a job. Did you want to ask anything? Do you have a sister? Can you stop asking if they've got sisters you can sleep with? We need to pick someone that we can both get on with. Someone with personality and substance. It's yours. <coughs> I, I mean, hi. I'm James. Hi, I'm Dex. P come in, please. Thanks. Hi, I'm Dex. <laughs> a little something. I know it's a little weird to meet someone for five minutes and have to decide whether you want them living with you, so I thought that this could ease some of the pressure. Steinie's mean. Cheers. That's good you like it. Um, I know not everybody drinks, so I bought a bottle of this as well. Is that 41% aloe vera? Thank you. Well, tell us a bit about yourself. I'm 26, moving up from Wellington. My younger sister Rachel lives in Parnell with her partner. Um, I'm starting a new job at an ad agency next week. I'm a big reader but I also love to go out and my guilty pleasure is that I love playing Call of Duty. Infinity Ward or Treyarch? Oh, Infinity Ward? Treyarch wouldn't know how to make a real game if one bit them in the ass. Well that's definitely the right answer. Uh, a couple of things about house cleaning. With three people, we'll set a roster and uh, one person will. Unless you'll be away, in which case the cleaning roster gets shifted to the day you come back. Uh, unless it falls on an already scheduled cleaning day, which then reverts to the previous roster. Uh, unless one of us agrees to switch days with you. So yeah, easy. Lastly, do you use any illicit drugs or, or um, alcoholic? Um, no. Well, um, uh, that's all the questions I have. Did you want to ask anything else? I'm good. Okay, well, you're, you're the, definitely the best we've seen. So if you want to move in, uh, the room is yours. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.
When are we going to have a uh, flat warming? I didn't see the difference, so I'll end up doing all the work. I'll help out, and I'll put in some money. Well, I pay your rent, and you don't have any money. So. Yeah, Mum and Dad gave me a leaving bonus, so I'll, I'll buy some food. Alright, when you want to have it soon? I don't care, man, you'll be doing all the work. You sort it out. All right. All right. Hey, Bex! Yeah? We're thinking about having a flat warming this Friday. Uh, you okay with that? Yeah, I'm sure. Um... Delicious. So you don't even need my help. Well, we'll find something for you. Got next game, eh? Yeah. Hey, Bex. Mm. Can I ask you something? Okay. Okay. So you're out. You're at a club, a party. You're dancing with a guy. He cracks fat. How do girls feel about that? Jesus. What? We finally got primary access to a female here. I'm sorry. There's so many questions that I want answered, James. Just ignore them. Like, sometimes it just happens. You'll be out, a girl's rubbing your ass up against you. It's just what happens. Blood starts flowing. It's, it's, in, our, it's in our nature. It's biology. Um, I suppose it depends, you know. Sometimes I'll take it as a compliment if he's cute and he's having fun dancing. But if he's trying to rub up against me, I'll just walk away. See, James? It's just a question. You're so uptight. You're disgusting. Let me ask you something. Why do they call you Skittles? Oh no. Because I'll come in and you kill. So you drink a lot of food, die? No. I mean that I'll fucking Oh, die. okay. Stop, I got it. You asked. So James, I hear you're uh, leaving early in the morning. What kind of work do you do? I uh, get to work early so I can read the paper in peace. I'm an actuary for a home and contents insurer. What's that? I compile and analyse statistics to determine risk and premiums for insurance rates, like how much my company would charge you to insure a Rembrandt. Is that what you wanted to do? I mean, isn't that dull? What? No. Actuarial work is actually really interesting. The formulas we use to determine risk versus rate are, uh, make for a really good guessing game, and, and no two formulas are ever exactly the same. It's like they're snowflakes. Some math stuff. Yeah, that's cool. What about your brother? Oh, he, he does nothing now. But before the accident, he was a champion. You mean like a great guy or like a national champion? No, I mean like a world champion. Or outside of China. But uh, now he's... So, where have you been? We've been waiting for the, the plastic tableware. Yeah, well, I was going to count down to buy all the stuff for the party, but I walked past JB Hi-Fi and they were having a huge sale. Check it. You bought Duke Nukem forever. Yeah, it was 25% off and that game is supposed to be the shit! Well, you were supposed to get the stuff for the party, did Well, I did get some stuff for the party. Look what else is in there. Big shot. Only the best album from 1999, James. Limp Biscuit. I did it all for the nookie. And that's hopefully what will be happening later, James. Have a look what else is in there. No, they're not for you, Bex. And Lisa Key for some. Yeah, I thought that maybe we could like uh, give them out as party favours. Uh, yeah, I don't think favours is the best word to use. Well, I would use them myself, but I need magnums. You know, back on the circuit, they used to call me donkey. Let's just stop it right there. <laughs> Sit yourselves. Skittles. When I first met you three days ago, I thought that you seemed nice. Cute, even, though your eyes never went above my shirt's neckline. I moved in and was enjoying myself. Your brother's very sweet, and you suck at Call of Duty, but what you did last night was totally unacceptable. I'm glad you liked the beer I brought you, but you did not need to scull all of it, nor did you need to consume half a bottle of vodka. I was going to wear that dress to a work event next week. Now it's in the trash. Even when you tried to apologise, you couldn't look higher than my chest. Women have eyes too, you know. But when you came into my room after the party, that was not okay. I would have been scared if you could have stood up without leaning against the wall or walk without stumbling. But the last thing in the world I wanted to do was sleep with you. 
you couldn't even unbuckle your pants without falling over. When you started bawling, I didn't know what to do. Then you ran out only to come back in with a bunch of plastic cups and try to stack them. I was at a loss for words. You were a champion and cup stacker and you let your injury get the better of you. I hope one day soon you find a way to overcome your injury. Tell James that I'm sorry and that I left the week's rent for him on the table. You need to get help and to stop calling yourself Skittles. Dick. <laughs>